It's your girl, Lady Lili, back with another video. And this is going to be my Target Black History Month haul. As you all know, I think on January 8th, Target put out their Black History Month line, which feature um, items and products um, by Black businesses, Black creators, and as usual, as soon as they put it out, it is gone. Because I went to a Target, uh, one of the Targets that was close to my house, and I went to get, you know, a shirt. I wanted a specific shirt and sweatshirt, and they only had two, three, and four X. So I had to end up ordering both items because they only had big sizes. So apparently... Everybody's on board, and these things are um, selling out like hotcakes. So I actually had to order um, my items. And I got a couple of other things not related to Black History Month, um, and I'm going to um, share those. But let's go ahead. So I got my packages in the mail. I haven't had time just to do really anything but yeah i got some other items but i want to start out first and i got these in the actual store so um these are like um little um storybooks about um black um historic figures we got um wilma rudolph um they got the story about george washington carver they got Jackie Robinson, and then they had Harriet, Harriet Tubman. I just thought this was cool. They were, what, 99 cents? Um, if you got a kid that's learning how to read, um, these would be good books for you to obtain. Um, Black History Month programs, or if you're teaching, um, if you're a teacher and want to do a segment, on black history i think this is a good buy um they had those in like the dollar bin area um at the target and i got all the oh, this is all they had um i was gonna grab every single last one if they had more but these are um the um uh, people they had featured i believe um this can go up to um this is up to fourth grade with some of these um, books, but they are uh, got pictures, um, like this Wilma Rudolph one, uh, got pictures, timelines, so it'll be easy um, to read. So I just thought it was cool. Um, I'm always doing stuff with Black History Month in terms of programming. So, or I can give them to a kid, you know, so I just thought that was um, kind of cool, but Yep, found those in the dollar bin at Target, and it was actually, 90, it was ringing 99 cents, not even a dollar, so. So next I got, like I said, I had to order my stuff, so they came in the mail the other day. I just been so busy, I haven't had time to even open up my packages. I ended up having a couple of competitions I had to judge um, last week over the weekend, and um, the sorority, my sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, we had our Founders Day celebration, so I went to that. So um, my aunt celebrated her birthday on MLK. She had a little birthday brunch. And I'm just really catching up back at work, catching up. Just, yeah, so I really ain't had time to do nothing around the house. So like I said, I'm just getting to open up my packages, so... This is the first thing I got was this um, t-shirt here. And this is going to double because I think I'm going to wear this um, also. Um, make this, this is going to be my Juneteenth shirt as well. So what it says is Juneteenth, um, 1865, um, 1926, Black History Week, Civil Rights Act, 1964. Um, Black History Month, 1976, and MLK Day, 1983. I like it. This is um, cute, colorful, and most important, informational. So nothing's on the back. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm definitely going to wear this for Black History Month. I am also going to um, double this as um, um, Juneteenth as well because it does kick off saying Juneteenth. So I'm going to wear this for Juneteenth um, as well. But like that, um, what I do um, doing Black History Month, I started last year. And, you know, interesting enough, it was not well received. Um, but now I'm working in a different place, different space. And um, so what I do is for the month of February, every time I go to work, I have on like a Black History shirt, Black Excellence. I started a tradition last year. And like I said, some of my colleagues was not impressed or, yeah, let's just say when I stopped wearing them, uh, I was told that was a nice blouse she had. I'm like, this is just a regular green shirt. So I don't think they were enthused, excited. But me working in a more diverse um, background office that embrace uh, different cultures and coast customs, and um, they'll be right on it. And I'm sure they're going to compliment me on my shirts and all that stuff. So that's one shirt I got. And the next was um, this sweatshirt. This sweatshirt is popping, y'all. This sweatshirt um, has been pretty much sold out at a couple of locations. Because I was trying to see maybe I could pick it up at another location, at another store. Unless you was going out, out, out in the suburbs, um, which means not around the corner, um, you... We're not going to find this. Um, you had to go into maybe none people of color neighborhoods to find them. But yeah, so they got um, this uh, sweatshirt here. And the wording is my voice, my power. And yeah, my power, my voice. So um, I remember last year I had got a you know, similar sweatshirt, had a black melanated girl on the sweatshirt so um i love that sweatshirt still wear it today you probably see me um shoot a video in that uh sweatshirt but that was always been my go-to sweatshirt wore that year wore that like throughout the time that was not just black history that was whenever i felt like it <laughs> put it on so and i think this is gonna be um the same um exact um the one i'm be rocking this together and it does and you know it's got pink little touch of green in there don't hurt don't hurt but yeah that's um what i got in terms of black history month stuff um something else i got not related but can be related um let me open up this other package i got um so keep it up with my um daily um readings what i do i get up every morning i pray um i read and i do my like manifestation cards um, affirmation manifestation cards um so i did the um i did my devote my i had my reading last year it's like my god today um, um 360 days of inspiration for people who who got me but a little hood or something like that. It was off of Amazon. So I did that book. I may go ahead and repeat that, but I wanted to do something different. So um my friend gave me like a 40-day um women's um devotional. So I'm starting the year off with that, and then I'm gonna move into I'm gonna redo uh, wake up girl and push through uh, volume one and this is what I got in the mail today um, wake up girl and push uh, push through volume two so um, this is like um, 50 day um, 50 it's like 50 days worth of moments with God readings with God um, but I think this one um, focus on prayers as well. So what I'm going to do, once I finish my 40-day devotional, I'm going to move it, go redo part one of um, this book, and then this is part two. So that would get me through um, the first 140 days 
um, of the year because this is 50 days. The other book is 50 days. But this is by um, Shanita, Shantia Coleman. Um, you can find this on um, Amazon. They do have the um, electronic version, but I wanted the printed copy because I do take notes and highlight and do things. So that's what I did with the other book. So that's why I really wanted to get another hard copy um, for the same reasons. And with that, um, she gives you a bookmark. And it says, God first before everything else. And then it comes um, with her card. So this is Shantia Coleman. And it's Wake Up and Push Through. So that's her card. So... That's just to keep me on track. I'm telling you, you start your day with prayer. You start your day um, with meditation, affirmations, whatever you decide. It, it, it really helps set the tone. Because I tell you, if it's if I just wake up and, and I don't end up like starting with prayer and stuff, it, it, it just knocks me off. So that I, I don't like people calling me um, before a certain um, before I'm you know, before I before I did uh, finish with my morning prayer um, activities, because um, I just figured it just helped me stay focused. Um, I got one more package that came in the mail. This is non Black History Month related. <laughs> so. You know, groups will get you, you know, Groups will get you in trouble, but I got this um, pink and green um, cardigan sweater. This is the one I originally wanted. Um, I end up getting the pink and white one um, because this was out of stock at the time. Because I'm always in um, some um, digital business casual dressy attire for the sorority. So I got this... Um, cardigan like sweater I can what is to chapter meeting um, when we have um, conference when we have e other events and we have to dress up and be in our colors I just thought this was um, great this is from um, Macy's It's by the Carter Club this was actually on sale it's originally um, $49.50 I believe I got it for like 19 19 something I was it 19 no way? I don't think so, but it was like 20 some dollars. I know it was like not the full amount of price, but I got um, this sweater as well. So like I said, that'll be good use. We got um, regional conference uh, coming up in April. So we have to dress up to go to the business meetings and all that. Um, so yeah, um, did another, um, Went to Bath and Body Works with my mom, so um, had coup had a coupon and like a free freebie thingy. So I just picked up some more um, Bath and Body Works. They still had the semi annual sale, so I got me some more cucumber melon uh, because, as you know, this is really a discontinued fragrance. So they only put it out during semi annual time, and I just oops. <laughs> I love the um, I love the smell of cucumber melon, especially like in the spring and summertime. It's just really like just really fruity, refreshing. Like you take your bath and you put that on, and it's just or you take you know you using a body wash. It's just yeah. And then I got me another candle, the rose uh, water and ivory. I'm loving this. And I realized I like Bath and Body Works candles. I know I'm trying to test out other brands, but some of the brands I feel like are not strong in scent. Like there's a couple black owned um, candles I have got and they smell magnificent. But like if you go and just get some basic regular candles, 
in the store, some of them, they're not even like strong. Like I'm burning a supposed to be an apple cider candle. I don't even smell the apple. I mean, it's almost done. I don't know if I'm not smelling it because it's almost done, but I'm like, I'm ready, you know, trying to burn it up and get back to my bath and body works candle because I'm like, I don't even smell that. And it's burning right now. And then I got a thousand wishes um, spray. I like to keep these size sprays in my purse. I don't like the big bottle um, in my purse, but I like to get these mini ones so I can put them in my purse um, and, you know, spray and update throughout the day. But um, I believe that is it. That was it. Just a light haul. I just really wanted to share the Black History Month. Um, items um, and also you know tab of the brown stuff is in Target too and I'm having a hard time seeing that stuff I mean finding that stuff it's like I'm excited that stuff is you know being sold but it's like picked over I'm like restock it hurry up restock it but yeah because I want to um, try out some of the snacks they were talking about because everybody said they are really um, good so I do want to support um, Tabitha Brown and try some of her snacks. But other than that, that is it. That is all. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. I am bringing the car talks back next week. Been working from home these past couple of weeks. So, yeah, unless I will do a home talk, but you know, I want to save that for car talk. So, Car Talks will resume next week. So get excited. I'll be back to my hybrid schedule. Um, so yeah, so that is it. Hopefully, um, what is this? January 17th. So hopefully, you know, um, 2023 is um, good to you thus far. And you're still working. You're still striving. You're still trying to be your best. Remember, it's the Jordan year. Just do it. And I'm going to talk about that in the car talk. Just do it. It's 2023. 23. Jordan. Michael Jordan World. The number 23. So it's like he just went out there for the kill and just did it. So just do it. But, you know, change your mindset. Change your heart. Change your thought process. You can't get the same results doing the same thing. So you got to change your mindset. You got to do it differently so you can get different results. Take care. Good night.